This is going to be a little outside of the normal scope of the videos I do, which are normally maintenance related or truck related things around the Ford Super Duty. But I wanted to speak more generally today about the just automotive industry in general. And it may turn into a rant, but we'll see what happens. Without being political, I've realized that it's rather suspicious that when people talk about saving the environment or stopping climate change and doing all of those things, you know, that would have a benefit to our planet and to us as human beings, you know, not breathing in smog and, and all of that, all the solutions <laughs> to fixing climate change or to stopping pollution involve buying new things. And I just feel that it's awfully convenient that these, you know, auto manufacturers and these politicians can preach about the need for reforms and, you know, fixing the climate. But most of the solutions they come up with involve spending money on new things. I just wonder, like, when at a point is our society going to realize that you can also help save the environment by keeping what you have and not buying new things. Actually, buying new things is what causes most of the pollution in the environment. It's people throwing out stuff and then going to Amazon or Walmart or wherever and buying new stuff or going to the dealer and buying a new car, right? And I think cars have a longer life until they end up in a landfill. But in my humble opinion, people who drive older vehicles are actually doing more for the planet than everyone driving around in their brand new Tesla. If you have a 7.3 IDI or one from the early 2000s, you've had that truck for 20 years. It's been running for 20 years. And yeah, maybe you've had to replace things. And, but a lot of the stuff in those older trucks was metal. They were mechanical. You weren't constantly replacing cracked plastic components in your engine bay. And that truck, like the useful life of that truck, if you were to buy a vehicle every five years, I mean, you know, mo it seems like most people buy a new vehicle every three to five years. If you have a vehicle for 25 years, I mean, that's, you know, most people will have had four to five vehicles in that time. You've just had one. And so the waste from just this so-called solution of, you know, you need to go buy new stuff. And like, yeah, having new stuff is cool and fun. And it's cool to, you know, buy the high output truck. You know, I'm not dumping on anyone who buys new things, right? Like it's part of our culture. I buy new stuff, but because our society is built on this idea of, you know, companies need to constantly be growing. So they need to be constantly creating new things. They need to be constantly driving shareholder value. That puts us in this vicious cycle where, you know, these companies has, have an incentive to sell us new stuff. But I feel like on the flip side of that, for a lot of people, we don't need new stuff. You know, like maybe I'm okay with the fact that my truck is like 400 horsepower and has like 900 foot pounds. Maybe I don't need 1200 foot pounds of torque. I got thinking about this a lot with my channel going into this next year. I've had my channel for a year and I'm like, what really is my purpose as a YouTuber making videos for people? Well, I think the main goal is like, I want to show that you can keep an emissions truck for a long time if you maintain it. And, you know, hopefully it'll last you. And, but on top of that, I think in general, I just want to show people how you can maintain a vehicle so you can keep it for a long time. I've had many people, you know, even in my general circle of acquaintances and friends where I tell them how many miles are on my truck. It only has 127 and they're like, oh, you're going to have to get a new truck soon. It's like, when, when did this become the norm that when you have 150K in a vehicle, you have to get rid of it? Like, that's so silly. Fully one third of the total environmental damage caused by automobiles occurred before they were driven and sold. It's like one third of the waste from automobiles comes from just their manufacturing process. The fabricating one car 
produce 29 tons of waste and 1,207 million cubic yards of polluted air. So 29 tons of waste from producing one car. And that's not even a truck. And you think about that, again, every time you buy a new car. So if you keep your 7.3 or your 12-valve Cummins for 25 years, you're cutting down on... 1,200 tons of waste that would be created during the manufacturing process. Now, I'm not going to talk about emissions and things like that because that is a topic that I don't really like to discuss on YouTube, but how much waste is being created by people buying new trucks because they're afraid their DPF is going to you know, make their motor crap out on them versus just keeping a 12 valve or a 7.3 that doesn't have a DPF on it that will run for forever. You know, it's awfully convenient that the DPF and all the emission stuff tends to make vehicles fail sooner, isn't it? You know, you'd think they'd want to save the environment. They'd want your vehicle to last longer. So you didn't have to create 30 tons of waste by manufacturing a new vehicle. But that isn't how it works. It's not how it works. It's not how you make money. You make money by making stuff break. And so even though they you know, pay lip service, all these companies and these politicians pay lip service, they really are just going to keep creating more waste and you know, coming up with creative circular solutions to have that waste you know, not show up for the consumer. But if you really dig and if you look into it, it's there. Damn it. I guess that was just what I wanted to talk about. It's kind of my reason for having this channel, right? You know, I think regardless of whether you have a truck that has emissions or not, take care of it if you want to save the environment. I appreciate you watching this video. And please drop a comment below if you think I messed something up or I missed the detail or, you know, if you disagree. I'd like to hear from you. I always respect people who voice their opinion, especially if it's not in a way that's just the standard online finger pointing and calling someone a bad person. Anyway, if you like this video and you want to see more, definitely subscribe. I post every Wednesday. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time here on Power Stroke Maintenance. Cheers.